Hello again, welcome back to Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Thank you very much for your support so far, it's really been great, honestly. So, what we're going to do first off is not do that. That's dangerous, Alex, what are you playing at? It's one of the many idle animations that I suppose you don't see too often. But I'm going to go into the library, I'm going to get that heart behind the book, The Demon and the Khmer, or The Khmer and the Demon, or something like that. So, it's, it's somewhere around here, I'm not really sure... Okay. <laughs> was that my grandfather who threw the book as a ghost, maybe? Was there? The Demon in the Khmer, there you go. Yep, a pulp novel written by written by Lindsay himself amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind the book. Look behind it. And there it is. Mantarok's heart. Take it. The essence of Mantarok, or one of many essences of Mantarok anyway. So there you go. But that doesn't actually help me out with what I do next. And that is to get another chapter page. Uh, so what, what have we, what have we learned last time? Let's see. It's like spell-wise. Um, so it was dispel, it was dispel magic and summon trap. Dispel magic. That's it. That's what I was going to do. Let's get out of this. I'm going to go back upstairs. I'm going to have a look at the, uh, the stained glass window right at the end because it had some sort of, um, seal on it. I had a barrier around it. I might be able to get rid of that now. And actually thinking about it, I got Mantrock, didn't I? After all that fucking backtracking, Jesus Christ. I'm surprised so many people stuck with it. <laughs> you alright, Alex? How is your sanity anyway? How is it? Pretty bad? Yeah, pretty bad. Just how I like it. Great. <laughs> yeah, so what was it? Okay, that's Ulioth. Fair enough. That's the one I picked after all. Now, I'm, I'm wondering, is Mantarok just an every, you know, is it sort of like a dozen everything kind of rune? Let's go to spell this. Let's dispel magic. Cast with three points. Let's try Mantarok. It might just do it. It does! Okay, so Mantarok works on Ulioth, Zelenath, and Chaturga. Fantastic. And look at this. Not quite on a pedestal, but um, as the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that, f uh, that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. And wouldn't you know, it's a chapter page. Called Heresy. Right. Well, that's going to be an interesting part of the game. Yeah. Uh, you might think that's Ulioth. It's not. But, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll get to that. I'm not going to say anymore. We're not gonna, I'm not going to say anymore. What we're going to do is we're, of course, going to have a look at the chapter page, Heresy. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral for everyone was suspect. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. 
I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be, but deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Slightly shady character in many ways. So, this Hand of Jude, let's see how good it really is, shall we? Uh, there's a door over there. I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to go through that, though. No, it's locked, okay. I remember this one rather well, I think. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty good, and there's far less backtracking, you'll be pleased to know, than the last one. But yeah, let's go see this Hand of Jude, shall we, if it's uh, as splendid as they all say. So, up the central passageway. It's not called the Isle, as many people think. <laughs> That's QI knowledge for you. For the love of God! God! Help! <laughs> it didn't Help last long, me. did it? A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But... Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you Me? trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. I think there's plenty to fear, actually. <laughs> oh, your stay in Amiens did not last too long before everything went to shit, did it? Right, okay, so I think I'm imprisoned here. I think this is actually the door I tried to go through originally. But yeah, the door is locked. Luther is being held under arrest, waiting for judgment and trial at the hands of the Inquisition, which is probably going to be very, very painful. And dear, dear, probably won't look too good on me. Uh, right, okay. Uh, what's this? The painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight as though it has some value but, uh, beyond being a precious gem. So I'm just going to like pluck it out, I guess. And retrieve the emerald. Alright. Oh, here we go again. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever.
All right, I have a task of the utmost importance. Let's uh, let's get this screw place shut down. Essentially, shall we? Let's stop the Inquisition. So um, I'm I'm free to go now. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Everyone's favourite book is waiting for me. I'm sure. There you go. Strangely enough, no statue for Edwin Lindsay. I guess he's still alive. Huh. There you go. The Tome of Eternal Darkness. Now I guess I can use magic. Brilliant. Alright, here we go. Now, can we please leave? We can. Excellent. Okay. So, let's just have a look at what I've got. What have I got in my inventory? I've got the book, of course. I've got the emerald. And I've got this meditation rod. Which, uh... Oh, okay. It regains some lost sanity. Jeez. Okay, my sanity's not too bad. My magic's not too bad. But my health is absolutely god-awful. I can't afford to take any any damage, really. So, yeah. Okay. Nice. I don't actually have a weapon, though. Hopefully I'll find one pretty soon. So, I think I want to go to the bell tower now. I don't know if that's the way. There's a door over here. Is there a door to the left? Not exactly. There's a staircase. That'll do. This could be the bell tower? I'm not sure. This could be the old tower. It's one of those. So, go around. Through here, I guess? Yeah? Okay. Ah, yeah, to the, the sort of upper level of this place. Yeah. There you go. You can see it in all its splendor, all its glory. Not bad, really, is it? It does actually look quite good for a GameCube game. I think I've said that before. Oh, hang on. This could be a bit of a problem. Uh, I can punch things, but I don't believe I'm going to be able to punch that to death. So I'm going to get around that. Hopefully this is unlocked. Okay, it is. Good. We're going this way. No, 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 no. We are going up the stairs. Again and again. It does seem to be going up. This is definitely one of the towers. Ah, there's the bell. Yeah. It is the custodian's task to ring the bell at the appropriate times. Perhaps it will be later to ring it. Maybe. But I'm going to ring it anyway. Because why not? I like giving my position away. Ah, oh, okay. A friendly face, thankfully. So how are you doing? Ah, oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. And end up just like he did. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here. And I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. <laughs> Let's hope it does. But there we go, I have acquired the old tower key, so that means I can go to the old tower. Wherever that is. Okay, but I will be I will be returning, so I will talk to him again. Hopefully. If everything goes to plan. Uh, let's return, though. I actually think I need to go back to where I originally found the body now. And, yeah, avoid him. <laughs> He's just going to be shambling around all the time, I think. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to kill him. I'm just trying to think. There are weapons in this chapter. But I don't know what they are, and I don't know where you get them. Or how good they are. I think... I think I might be finding one soon, though. Anyway, so through here... I don't know if we have to sort of like stealth past members of the Inquisition or anything like that, or, or what, but I'm going to find out pretty soon. Alright. Let's just walk straight up the middle, see what happens. Someone might catch me out, I'm not sure. Is the body still here somewhere? He's, look he's looking at something, I think. No, maybe they moved the body, never mind. Okay, right, so where do, where do, we, where do we even start here? Anything up here? No? Okay. Let's go to the left. To the organ! Something to do with the organ? Maybe, yeah. 
Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul, who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Ah, right, okay. Well, maybe I'm going to be finding a musical sheet then. Um, or sheet music, as I think they call it in England. Yeah. The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by this sight. What faith does the order practice? Well, the faith of eternal darkness, the faith of Ulioth. And the frightening thing is that's uh, based in reality. <laughs> okay. Nothing in here. Ah, the chest? Maybe? Open the chest? Open the chest. Yeah, okay, a crossbow. Finally, something to defend myself with. Probably not going to find any bolts, but I've got a crossbow. That's cool. Does it come with a bolt? Uh, yeah, it comes with one bolt. Great. Better use this wisely. Alright then, uh, what else we got? Anything over here? A few robes, I see. Ah, oh! The rat carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. As Paul draws the robes back, something tumbles from inside. A podium key! Alright, that's a nice little surprise. I didn't remember that. Uh, nothing through there. A painting up here? Or a drawing? The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal, deviant acts. Lovely. Yeah. This Inquisition. Rather shady, honestly. Well, they were, they were shady at the time, honestly, but... This is, uh... This is to a whole new level, really. Okay, so the podium. The podium. Is there a podium up here? Somewhere? Ah, probably that over there. Or... Well... Maybe not. Is it this? Ah, simple podium and lectern provides a platform for a priest giving a sermon to his congregation. There's a drawer recessed inside it. Open drawer? Can't do it. It's locked. Not anymore. There we are. What's inside? Is that sheet? No, it's not sheet music. But it is a diary page. From who? Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, okay, it's the diary of Brother Andrew. Fantastic. Page one, too. I have finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the Hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good, pe uh, full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in the world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it is in Amiens. <laughs> oh, well, you're so wrong. It's fucking centred around it, I think. Right now, anyway. Alright. There was something over here, though. I kind of want to have a look. Oh, check it out, check it out. On one of the pews. Okay, the cathedral's tabernacle is fa uh, fashioned from aged, varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed, and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Right, so I, I need, like, a crowbar, or there's another secret way of opening this thing. I'm not sure which... It is, to be honest. Okay. Now what? Now what? What's back here? Can I go... Oh, I can go down. Right, let's try this. We must be making some progress, I'm sure. No enemies down here, thankfully. No members of the Inquisition, either. Ah, okay. More crossbow bolts, I see. I'll take them. They're going to come in handy. How many How many bolts do I count? Oh, okay. It's like five. Five a time. That's cool. What's that? What was that? Reliquaries? Yeah. Uh, pick it up. Absolutely. Um, let's, let's, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, this is the forgeries of the reliquaries, dating back to the late 13th century, exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather. It reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the teeth resorted, uh, tithe, resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their region to their uh, diocese and thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous thighbone flute of Connaught, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. <gasps> so you're telling me the hand of Jude doesn't exist? It was just a ploy to get people here? Well, it worked, didn't it? It bloody worked. You should feel... you should feel silly. What's this? Oh, personal effects of a priest. 
Rosary beads. Crucifix and a variety of other small holy items, which I'm going to leave behind, I think. All right, well, uh, that's just confirmed that I'm here for no real reason at all. I've been duped. Right, left, where are we going to go? Right, right. Ah, right, definitely right, yes. A mace. A steel mace. So there you go. There's, there always seems to be an option between ranged and melee weapons. And I always side with the melee weapons, but perhaps this time, because I'm finding so many crossbow bolts, I'm going to try this one out. Oh, right, oh, oh, Jesus. What's this? I seem to be aiming... I, is that a trapper? It squeals like one. Okay, of course, only one bolt on the crossbow. Is there another one? Not anymore. <laughs> when there's two, there's usually three. No? No, I don't think I'm looking onto anything. I can't hear any, anything roaming around. Examine. A wine cask used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong, for it seeps through the cask, filling the air with a heady aroma. How many are in here? Quite a few. Quite a few. And they all say the same thing, do they? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to test that out. I don't believe that for a second. I think there's something... There's something that, that's wrong with one of them. I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> I might be doing this for no reason. No, here we go. Knocking on this cask results in a hollow thud. It's empty. But why? When all the others are full of maturing wine. Will I turn the spigot? Damn right I will. Something's not right here. That's great. That's just, that's just fantastic. How how can you do that to turn a spigot that moves a wall? Crazy, crazy. I love it though. Oh shit. <laughs> What's inside him? Right, let's know where to find out. Uh this could take a while. Oh. Nah. There you go, going for the headshots. I don't know if I hit that or, or what. Might have just gone through his head. Oh jeez. <laughs> this isn't great. Tell you what, what might help is uh, if I enchant this to Ulioth. Or or just use the mace. I'm not really sure. Maybe I can enchant it to Mantarok. Would that would that do the same thing? Oh, jeez. I didn't reload? Are you kidding me? Come on! Luther, Luther, Luther! There we are. His head does not want to get removed today, apparently. I don't think I've got the time. That's the unfortunate thing. I don't think I've got the time to, uh, to enchant. Unless I can leave. Which I can. Okay. Now... Now I've got all the time in the world. So, yeah, we're going to enchant the item. We're going to use Mantarok. On the crossbow. Now, I believe this is going to be effective against everything. Ulioth, Chishoga, and Zelenath, but I'm not entirely sure about that. If you could let me know in the comments, that would be much appreciated. It does seem to do some extra damage of some sort. It's a shame there's no enchant to make it easier to reload. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, I thought I had to remove all the heads, but apparently not. He's down. Oh, that's what it was. It was a sapphire. Strange. All right. Fair enough. Can we finish this guy off? Uh, yeah. Let's do it without wasting ammo. Oh no, my sanity. Oh, how how is my sanity? It's not it's not looking too good. I probably should do something about that. So there we are. So little magic for so much sanity. Good trade, good trade. Now what was he protecting? What's this? This pedestal has three small indentations adorning its top, arranged in a circular formation. Each socket appears to be waiting for something. Right. Well, he had... a sapphire. Okay, I can pretty much guess where the emerald's going to go. So we have a sapphire, an emerald, we're missing something. We're missing another jewel. An amethyst, a ruby, something like that, probably. Um, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? 
Enchant my mice. There we are. And this in the center. Can I open this? I don't know. There is a massive granite vault carved with hideous bas reliefs. Uh, scratch, mask, scratch, scratch marks running along the floor make it appear that the crypt has been moved many times. I don't think that's your average crypt. That's why. I think it's probably got a lot to do with the jewels, too. Yeah, there must be some some other jewel that I haven't found yet. That's fair enough. I haven't checked the old tower, for instance. That's probably where I need to go next. So we went to the left. We haven't gone to the right. I'm assuming that's where the old tower is. This might be where I have to use the key. It is the old tower. This is where I'm going to have to use the key. There it is. And here we go. Right, so that's how we, they get inside bodies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, here he comes. Ah, oh, come on. Quick, quick. Ooh, finish off. Now, now, quick. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Still at about half sanity. That's not great. And that's another, that's another brother down. Another monk down. Yeah, you might recognize this. This is where Anthony was. This is the old tower. That's where the uh, that's where the body was. Hmm. <laughs> is this casket in readiness for Brother Andrew's body? Perhaps Augustine is blessing it, or perhaps it has a more sinister purpose. It is almost as if the death was expected or arranged. Funny that. Oh, hang on, what's that? There's a scroll. Another spell scroll. What's it going to be? Shield. All right. Okay, I can dig that. Apparently, I've got the runes for it already. I love it. Oh, protect self. Easy. I could have probably figured that out earlier, honestly. Fair enough. Um, let's use it, I guess. Uh, no, not new spell. Spell list. Shield. There. I think Mantrox the best of all four, so I'm assuming it's going to do a lot um, of sort of um, defense versus everything else. Might be wrong. Can we go in here? Charlemagne in here still? No. But Anthony is. Oh, that's a ruby, isn't it? Ru Why is there a ruby in his eye? Oh dear. Sorry to do this to, to your buddy, but I think I'm going to have to fight you. Really simple. Just keep going for the head. <laughs> Trying to get chopped in half. You know. Same old, same old. Oh, oh! I guess that's the shield at work. I probably would have been hit otherwise. Oh, you're down. Hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Hit him some more. Oh, no. I can't. No. Oh, what? Do I need to finish him off in a special way or something? Let's get behind him. There we go. Yes! I think. Sorry, Anthony. Paul has found a ruby, but not only that, he's also found a two-edged sword, which I'm sure is better than the mace. It looked pretty good. I'm, sh I'm fairly sure it would have done a, a huge amount of damage if I wasn't using the shield. Okay, so uh, I guess let's just switch that weapon over, shall we? There we go. And while we're at it, enchant it too. I think I might bind that, actually, to one of the, uh, the D-pad buttons, because I'm going to be using that a lot, I think. It does seem to be doing uh, a lot of damage to everything. Alright, sweet, cool. So that's the ruby I need. Uh, let's keep exploring the old tower, though. There might be something else I haven't have yet to find. Uh, if I'm remembering Anthony's chapter, there's nothing down here but that door. Uh, we can go up here. Can we still go up here? Looks like it, yeah. Go on, then. What's caught your eye, Anthony? Oh! Okie dokie. Finish them off. There we are. 
There is something here. There is something. What is it? Oh, another diary page, I hope. It is? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? What is it? It's two! And it reads... I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such little notice, but I must confess that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayer or worship are demonstrated by this strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the auspices of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it is my na naivete in our faith, or of our faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than others. Very friggin' eccentric. You don't really want to know what they're worshipping, I suppose. You eventually did. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's this? Ah! A sheet of music! Right! Now I might be able to play the organ. <laughs> Check it out. It's actually the GameCube buttons as well, so I know what to play. Cool. Alright. It wasn't one of the, one of these books opened up like a secret entrance, didn't it? I think it was the one to the right. This one there. But I can't I can't use it. I guess not. Yeah, this this went away. But I can't move it this time. Fine, 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 fine. Wait, is there anything in that chest? No, nope, can't look at it. Nothing here. No, nope, just another bewildering away array of books that I'm going to ignore. I think the next move is to probably go back to the organ. I think we're done with the old tower. I'm going back to the organ, and of course I've got the ruby, so I can insert the ruby into the uh, into the third slot. What is he looking at here? I'm trying to. What's averting his gaze? There's something down here. I I might not want to know what it is. Actually, it could be something horrible. I'm I'm thinking it could be enemies. Actually, so let's go over here, and I guess uh, use the the sheet of music. No. Or just, just try and use it again? Yeah, now I can play the organ. Okay, here we go. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> oh, that's it! Right, okay, so you've probably noticed all this time I've been using magic. I've been using the three-point power level. What I'm going to get in a moment is the five point power level. So everything that I can do, or everything that I do, can be more powerful. Which uh, I might need to use pretty soon, actually. So in theory, a five point enchantment is a lot better than a three point one. There you go. Only a circle of power lying on the lower shelf. Pick it up, man. Pick it up. But how do I use it? How would I use it? Okay. I've acquired the five-point circle of power. Now each of the three-point spells can be powered up by using the power rune. I don't think I have the power rune, do I? That might be that one in the bottom right. That's bloody typical. It's the only one I haven't got. Will I get it in this chapter? I hope so. I, hope I, I really hope I didn't miss it. No, I, I don't think the game would be that cruel. I can't have missed it. No, no. No. I'm shunning that idea and putting it out of my mind. It's not happening. So let's go down here with the ruby. Let's insert it. Here it is. And there you go. Right. Good, 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 good. Down you go, down you go. The enchantments wear off and so is my shield as well. It's not good, is it? Oh. Never mind, though. This is still a pretty powerful weapon. I don't even need the enchantment, really, for these guys. So. Chop, chop. There we are. And let's go for the little one. No, the little one. I know he's little, but he's not that hard to so Come on, there we go. There. Oh, bloody hell. Ah! There you go! There, there, there it is! There it is! I don't have the codex, but that's the rune. That's probably the power rune. Well, it has to be. It's the only one I haven't got. So I didn't miss it. I'm so, so glad I didn't miss it. Right. 
Is everybody missing a head? That's great. That's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Enchant to... I'm going to use uh, Zelenath. On the two-edged sword. Enter It might do a slight bit more damage than using Mantrock. I'm not sure though. Seems to work. Oh yeah, very nice. So there you go, there's the magical rune. I'm just going to need to find that codex. I never liked torsos anyway. That's... <laughs> Just realised that is the bust just behind Brother Luther there. That um, that's looking at Alex every now and then in the Royvis Mansion. Can I interact with it in any way? Can I hit it? No. <laughs> okay. It's just sort of there. Weird. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go through here. All right. Just keep your eye out for a codex. I don't don't know why I'm telling you that. Stab, chop, there you go. Either one, either one works. Let's keep going. It's got to be down here somewhere, right? Oh, shit! Horror fight! Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to pick up those crossbow bolts and I'm going to leave as fast as possible. Oh, it's dead already. Bloody hell. It, does it, does it, like, eat it or something? I don't even know. Uh, what's that? Like a pedestal for something that isn't there. I've got the wrong enchantment. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there you go. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, I've got to remember before I go back through that door <laughs> that I want a Chaturga or a, a Mantarok enchant on my weapon. Ideally. Right. Okay. Now, Anthony was here, wasn't he? Oh, fuck. See some more crossbow bolts on the on the shelf there. There we go. What's this? Arcane documents and treatments of the demonic arts. All Dan touched them for fear of the taint of evil. <laughs> but it will happily chop these guys in half. That's no problem. And this side, same stuff. All right. Uh, where's the little platform that I put the urns on as Anthony to open this up? Oh. Push the shelf? Yeah. It's as easy as that. Anthony, you idiot. Why'd you have to go and play with a puzzle? You just pushed it. <laughs> it's as easy as that. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, man. Easy enough. Okay. Oh, brilliant! Another cha uh, another not chapter page, another diary page, I think. And to the right, the codex as well. And as soon as I've got that codex, that's it. That's everything taken care of. There you go. Pargon power. So by adding Pargon runes to a spell, it can be powered up, intensifying its effects. Great. So let's just say, in theory, because I know I'm going to need to use this, enchant item. Uh, three, what, where, where, where's the five point power level thing? Hmm, unless, ah, uh, you know what, do I need to new spell it? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well, okay, so, sorry about this, but I've got to check. What's at, uh, an enchant item? It's Antibok and Magamore. Okay, so let's go to new spell, five point. Uh, Antibok Magamore. So, the project. Magamore. Protect, uh, yeah, project item. And then, Pargon twice, I think would work. Yep, so that's a more powerful enchant item. And that's how you use that. Now, does it appear in the spell list now? Oh, that's annoying. So you do have to manually put Pargon into everything. Oh, well, I might do that in between videos or something, so you don't have to watch that. But there we go. So... Now I can cast it. Five point, Chaturga, two edged sword. Hmm. 
Now, I don't know if it's going to be really, really good, but maybe it might want to hit that horror. Who knows? Let's read the diary page first, though. It's one diary page to be placed on the shrine. I assume this is page three. It is. And this one reads, With a shudder, my heart turned to ice. I came to the brutal realization that the entire order were heretics and that I was in incredible jeopardy. Who, who knows how long they have kept this dark secret? masquerading as custodians at the hand of Jude, when in fact they guarded a damnable relic, the essence of the unholy Zelotath, and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick, and despite my faith, uh, I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I know that I must escape this place before they suspect my knowledge. I must warn the world and notify the real Inquisition of their presence, knowing death is just around the corner and fearing every moment. I commit these words to paper. Augustine will find this book. I will remove certain pages and hide them, so that all who may follow might discover the truth before it is too late. Okay. Well, he hid some of them in some nice locations. Well, there you go. Now, uh, the other the other brother from another mother, who has been helping me out, actually does want to talk to me again. I think I've discovered all I need to, so I might actually go back and talk to him before we do anything else. I haven't found like a key to go through that door, so unless the horror's got the key on him or something, I, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So there we go. There is a little bit of backtracking, but it's nowhere near as arduous as it was in the previous chapter. Right, let's tackle you. No, oh, well, it will help if I actually hit the guy. Oh, you got the swipe on me. Of course you did. There we are. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. The two-handed sword, or the two-edged sword, is very good on its own. But I think Chitoga helped a little bit. Yeah, this door here, with that weird emblem on it, is locked. Is there anything up here? Oh, there is, actually. What is this? Alright. An effigy of a monk reclining on a sacrificial altar. A deep groove bisects his chest. The monk's face looks almost exactly like the custodian. The inscription reads, Only when thy friend is sacrificed, when his cries fill the air, will the great doors be open to thee. The great doors, I imagine, will be that wooden one behind me. Hmm. Obviously need to insert something. The two-edged sword wouldn't work, would it? Oh, I can't even use it, so I guess not. The mace wouldn't fit. Uh, meditation rod? I guess I might use one, actually, because my sanity's a little low. Cool, that helped quite a bit. Hmm, okay, I'm going to need some something else. Maybe the monk, I don't know. I'm going to have to go see the other, the other brother. So, bear with me. I'm backtracking. Well, he is up here. Have I found everything I need to? Yes. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well claiming that the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. The Hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morning. Ah. It can only mean... Can I borrow that? I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little... Why show your hand like that? That doesn't make sense. To save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. For that's all you have.
No, actually it's not. It's someone else's faith. It's it's a dark magic faith that protects me and my two-edged sword, of course. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh <laughs> Hello? You all right? Where do you go? Weird. Okay. Maybe he's not what he seems. I'm not sure. Any, anyway, he gave me a sacrificial knife. I wish he gave this to me earlier. But this is what I need. I need to plunge this into the uh, the effigy, don't I? That's what the slot's for. Of course. So now uh, we're going back on ourselves. Again. So <laughs> bear with me once more. All right, let's get you out of the way. Get my sanity back. There we are. That's not too bad, considering I've just run back here. I've avoided a lot of the enemies. Okay, now this should be where... The sacrificial knife goes. It is. Oh, lovely. Oh, that does what? Oh! I thought it unlocked the door, but no? There's another door. <laughs> Alright. What's this gonna be then? Ah! Okay, yes! Paul's progress forward is blocked by a corrosive spell. Obviously, someone wants to keep intruders at bay, and this lethal magic is just the way to do it. It's five points, so I think I need to use a five point to spell magic to get rid of it. So that unfortunately does mean going to spell list, looking at the spell magic, checking it, seeing it's Nethlek and Redgamore. Okay, so that one, that one, Nethlek, dispel. Red Gamor, yet to spell area, and then Pargon, Pargon. And that's how you do it. So there we go, dispel magic. Just going to do exactly what I did again. Yeah. You've got advanced magic, so have I, bitch. Get out of my way. So there's something down here they want protected, eh? Let's destroy it. Oh no. That's where he went. Fuck. Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian. Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. His soul no doubt lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken, watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse, feeling all hope escape him. Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone. Alone against the darkness. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy, when he finds the very source of corruption. I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for, and that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Ulyoth. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel and let us return to our preparations. Oh, crap. What's it going to be? Okay. Two of them. He gives them a stroke. Yeah, I don't think I'd do that. That's that's not really an issue, though. I mean, there's only two of them. That shouldn't be too bad, right? I hope not. I mean, sure, sanity's not great. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. Look at that damage it did. Oh, it's getting close. Okay, heads come off. There we are, finished, quick. Now I need, I really need to heal as well, because that actually nearly got me. It's kind of surprising. Alright, so, uh, is that heal? I guess. Yeah, that's heal. 
three point, but it'll do. I'll do it once more. Okay, that, that should cover me for a little bit. Right. So, so now what? I think I might have to follow him away. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe that door is now going to be open? That strange door with the circular emblem on it. The insignia. Whatever it is. It's the only thing I can think of. It's the only place I haven't been. Ah. Mmm. I don't know how he didn't realise I'm, I'm right next to him, but I'm going to follow him in. Where does this go? Well, we're about to find out. And for some reason, I don't think Mr. Paul Luther here is going to like it all that much. Behold. The door is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Should Paul enter and put an end to the heresy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. and greater guardian is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. We tried so hard, and got so far, but in the end, I died. Again. I bet you thought I was going to start singing then, didn't you? Yeah. Bloody hell, I've been playing for ages. That lasted ages. Almost as long as the other one. But there we go. Oh, I found a note from Edward, did I? Interesting. <laughs> yep, camera's got to sort itself out because I'm pretty low on sanity. So this note from Edward. I'm going to check it next time. Leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger, I'm afraid. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you want to continue to see more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by liking the video. And I'll see you in the next part. Somewhere around here, I'm not really sure... Okay. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are... Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you Me? In the Almighty. I seem to be aiming... A, is that a trapper? It squeals like one. Push the shelf. Yeah. It's as easy as that. Anthony, you idiot. Why'd you have to go and play with a puzzle? You could just push...